So our discussion for today, so th- perhaps this is our first meeting, you know, and th- this is uh, my task, of course, is to deliver today the first part of our topic, which is on our module one, the introduction to earth science. And I will be presenting to you today the first part or the first chapter, the first topic for our module one, which is what, what is earth science? So we will be dealing with the scientific study of the earth, the branches of earth science, and the importance of the earth science. So th- this is the outline of my presentation or the topics that will be that we are about to cover this morning. So three three parts ang makakover natin today. Okay. So actually, class, for thousands of years, the scientists will were able to look at the world around the, them and even us. You know, and we try to wonder what really what are those forces that really shape our environment and even dirt itself. So throughout the history, there are so many cultures that have been terrified and fascinated by seeing volcanic eruptions. So they keep on questioning, wondering why is it that there is the phenomenon just like the eruption of volcanoes and the feeling of the ground shaking during an earthquake and or even watching the sky darkening during or darken during an ex- an eclipse and there are also some cultures develop myths you know, and stories to ex- in order ju- uh, just to explain this event so ang dami ano if we are going to revisit since antiquity those myths and stories of what really happened in in our surroundings you know? Wait lang. So before we proceed with uh, our proper discussion, let's have first our activity. The first activity, as projected in your in the screen, ano, as projected in the screen. This activity is being referred to as my spider web. Now I want you or just a just to refresh some of your prior knowledge or your uh, basic concept on the branches of earth science. If you could recall some of the important branches of earth science, I want you to use that heads in that figure and serving as the legs of your spider web and add at least one or two branches to each leg. So this is an image upload. So meaning to say you are going to write down there on a piece of paper, then you capture the your spider map, then try to uh, upload this te- your output. You know? So all you have to do after you have made or you accomplish your spider map, um, just visit as we, we've always been us- utilizing in presenting topics. You know? After you, you crafted your spider map, just go to classpoint.app um, again, our activity is my spider map. You're going to create a spider map that summarizes the branches of earth science. Yeah. And you are going to use these heads in that figure serving as the, uh, the spider map and add one or two branches to each leg, branches of earth science. Ano? So you're going to actually make that in your uh, in, on a piece of paper. Then once done, just go to classpoint.app URL, ha? then you have to, to input there your name and the class code, okay? Uy, aram nyo na mga classic kita. Wala ka mo nagadara maski ball pen or notebook. Lucky. Dapat nagadara ka mo piece of paper or notebook man lang. Ano galina siya? Meaning to say, dili ka mo nag-jot down, nag-take down notes. Dapat nagadara ka mo sing papel. And we have already a response from, or I mean an answer from Joshua. Pero na tayo kay Joshua ng sagot. Nakuha na doon sa nagtanong. Nakuha na doon sa nagtanong ha. Ayan, so meron na tayong dalawang responses from Glycel, Alim, Aliman, and Joshua. Sino kayang Joshua ito? Joshua Duluhol or si Joshua... Ano? Dalawang Joshua yata ito. So, so far, we have 11 students or, yeah, participants joined. 
All right, so close submission tayo. Halos nag nag gumugol tayo ng 15 minutes. So let us check the answers of those who joined via class point. So we have here the answer of Joshua. Yung sagot ni Joshua, actually the heads of the spider map are filled. Ano, nilagyan niya, talaga nilagyan niya. We, uh, we have here geology, oceanography, meteorology, and astronomy. However, hindi niya inalagay on what are these things. It is because, as what I have made mention a while ago, you are going to, um, you are going to identify this fields or branches of earth science. So it would be better that you input here, dito sa middle, dapat nakalagay dito ang earth science. Nakuha, class? Nakuha? Okay. Yes, okay. So tingnan natin, yung sagot ni John Raymond Lapa. So this is actually correct. Ano? So you have geology, oceanography, Oceanography, Climatology, Environmental Science, Astronomy, and Meteorology. So you have there, you can actually look into the details in the branches of Earth Science. Kasi nilagay ni John Ray. So this is correct. Um, Nelson, ba't wala? Walang nakalagay kay Nelson. Kay Rodgen and Daya, same, th same. This is actually correct. Geology, oceanography, mm -hmm, correct, this is correct. So the learning objectives or the things that we are going to uh, discuss this morning is that you are going to describe uh, two cultures that contributed to modern scientific study, name the four main branches of earth science, and discuss how earth scientists help us understand the world around us. Now, the scientific study class of the Earth is actually started since uh, the Earth began with careful, ob of course, with the careful observations of our scientists. Um, way back, those scientists in China began keeping records of earthquakes as early as 780 BCE. And other, or same thing with the ancient Greeks, compiled a catalog of rocks and minerals around 200 BCE. And there are also other ancient peoples, including the Mayans, who track the movements of the sun, the moon, and the planets at observatories. Like the, the, the one, the, the image, this image class, yung El Caracol, this is actually the work of the Mayans, ano? that they were able to craft or to build the ancient Maya of Central America. This is actually one of the oldest known observatories in the America. And Mayan calendars include the celestial movements that the Maya tracked using observatories. As what I have made mention, that this uh, these scientific discoveries were limited to observations. That's the reason why Earth science is being considered now as one of the universe, uh, is the study of the Earth and of the universe around it. And Earth science, like uh, e any other sciences, assumes that natural events or phenomena can be explained through careful observations and experimentation. Alam natin yan. That it is through observation and experiments that we were able to generate new body of uh, body of knowledge, new new ideas presented, generated from that of our observations. Now, let's proceed to the branches of earth science. So anyway, uh, you were able to generate or to give your, to have your output emphasizing actually the branches of science. But this time, let's go deeper to that. Now, remember class that the ability to make observations improves when technology such as new processes or the equipment is being developed. So yung nakita natin sa L, yung sa uh, ginawa ng mga Mayans, mapapansin natin that it's um, medyo complex pa siya in a sense na talagang it was just uh, created ano, mula sa clay, rocks. But the, as technology uh, is being developed with a new complex equipment, it allows scientists to really explore uh, other parts of the earth for example, the ocean depths, Earth's unseen interior, and the vastness of the space. So Earth scientists have used technology and hard work. Hard work is really um, being 
uh, being allotted by the scientists just to build an immense body of knowledge about the earth. So most of this uh, scientist specializes in one of the four major areas in earth science. So for example, you have there actually, you made mention uh, uh, on the uh, about oceans, an atmosphere, and the universe beyond the earth. So for example, in the image, ayan, papansin nyo, yung astronomer, meteorologist, na talagang they, uh, they subjected their selves ano, into risk, into dangers of observation. So you have here uh, the four major areas of study of the earth science, of the solid earth, the oceans, the atmosphere, and the universe beyond the earth. So first we have, before tayo mag-proceed class, let's have first this one. Karoon muna tayo ng game, branches of earth science speaks one word. Ano? Tingnan natin kung uh, you can actually associate these pictures. Nakikita, class, yung projected sa screen? Class? Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, yes. So, una, oh. ayan. Yes, sir. So, doon pa rin tayo sa class point. Eto, tingnan nyo muna yung image. Nakita na? Yes, sir. Okay. Sir. Sige nga, anong sir. sagot nyo? Punta nga kayo sa class point. You have here, you have there the earth plus yung pangalawang image na yan. Ano yan? Sige, good for one minute lang. Ayan, last 15 seconds, 10 seconds. Tingnan natin yung mga sagot nyo. Fix one word, ha? Huh? One word. Alright, close submission tayo. We have... Tingnan natin yung mga sagot nyo. Top answer natin ay Earth Signs. Alright, tingnan nga natin. We have here Earth Signs. Sagot ni Glycel Aleman, ni Mary J. and Joshua. Study of the Earth. Sagot ni Mark John. Biology. Start. Sagot ni Made Madel Briones. And a resume to Ledo. Alright. Tingnan natin kung sino kaya ang may tamang sagot. <clears throat> yung unang image, ano yung nakikita nyo sa unang image or unang picture? Ano yung nasa, ano? Um, yes, you have, you have the earth. This is actually the earth. And this one, this is, di ba study ito? Parang, you can associate this one as studying or study. Tama? And you, uh, we know very well that ah yes. uh, Jeo, the term Jeo comes from, saan nga? From Greek word meaning soil or meaning earth. So this, this is the reason why the correct answer is tama si, sino yung nasumagot? The correct answer is geology. Di ba ang logi or logos study of? So the correct answer is geology. Sir. Okay, next picture. Ayan, tingnan natin. Doon pa rin sa class point. Uh, for those who can't join via class point, pwede kayo sumagot uh, sa chat box natin. Earth scientist daw ang sagot ni Valerie. Okay. You have here, ayan, sa una, plus, this is O, ha? At yung last is Y. Ayan, sige. Tingnan natin. We have answers also sa ating chat box from John Raymond Lapas. Ayan, meron din tayong sagot from Eileen Bellio, Christian James. Alright, close submission tayo. So the correct answer is, the correct answer is, ayan, halos karamihan naman, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 13, 14. So the correct answer is, oceanography. So tama kayo, this is correct. Next image. What about this one? Ayan, tingnan nga natin. Next slide tayo. Next uh, next field or branch of science.
So we have here meteorology. Halos karamihan naman. So the correct answer is, anong tamang sagot dito? Anong sagot, class? Ha? Yes, meteorology. Dito sa first image, you have meteors. Plus O, then this is studying or study of. Alright, so you got it correct. Next slide. Ano ito? Ayan, you have an electric fan. You have here, sino ito? Sinong artist ito from Vivo? I mean, featured ng Vivo. Then you have um, the song title by uh, Bebe Rexa and G.A.Z. Anong sagot? Ha? Anong sagot dito, class? Ha? Ayan, Christian James. Meron ang sagot si Christian James. Tingnan natin kung may responses tayo. Ayan, close submission tayo. Save for review na lang para ma-record natin. So the correct answer is, ilan ang sagot? Climatology? Merong astronomy. Tatlo ang nagsagot. Aris May Toledo, Angel May, and Miss Bajana. Okay. So the correct answer is, astronomy. Di ba, astron, you know, ang branch in an electric fan? <laughs> Yes, that is astronomy. All right, next tayo. Perhaps this is the last slide. Or, or, okay, wala na pala. Okay, so that's the last um slide for our four picks. I mean, picks one word. So proceed tayo dito sa branches of geology. I mean, ng earth science. So first, we have the geology. So the study of uh, geology deals with the origin, history, and the processes and structure of the solid earth. Kaya natin siya tinawag na geology. That's the reason why doon sa first picture natin, nakita natin yung solid earth. And geology, this includes many specialized areas of study. So this, uh, there are also geologists to explore earth's crust for deposits of coal, oil, gas, and other resources. So there are also other geologists Uh, study the forces within the earth to predict earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. There are also some who study fossils to learn more about earth's past and often new knowledge forms and new areas of study. So just like in this image, this, this geologists who study volcanoes are called volcanologists. And volcanologists is measuring the properties of the moving lava. Next, we have oceanography. Uh, oceanography, because oceans cover nearly th uh, three-fourths of Earth's surface, the study of Earth's ocean is called oceanography. And, the, and some oceanographers work and research ships that are equipped with special instruments for studying the sea. So other oceanographers study waves, tides, and other currents. And there are also some oceanographers explore the ocean floor to ob obtain clues to Earth's history and or to locate mineral deposits. So this one, in this image, uh, fishermen with the Northwest Atlantic Marine Alliance, or NAMA, are actually working with oceanographers to better understand how pollutants are reducing fish populations and posing health crisis, risk, I mean health health risk to consumers of... Ayan. Ay, sorry, sorry. Okay. Ay, sorry. Ba't napunta ako doon? Sorry, class. Sorry for that. All right. So next tayo, let's have meteorology. So the study of Earth's atmosphere is called meteorology. So using satellites, ayan, we know very well that meteoro uh, meteorology, they relies, uh, they relied on satellites, radar, and other technologies that meteorologists uh, opt to study atmospheric conditions that produce weather, and many meteorologists work as weather observers and measure factors such as the wind, spe uh, wind speed, temperature, and rainfall. That's the reason why we were able to predict yung weather natin 
in a short period of time with the aid of this technologies. And this weather information is then used to prepare detailed weather maps. That's the reason why one of the uh, one of the highlights or one of the topics that we are going to discuss is that uh, determining models type types of maps, which really uh, help scientists and experts and meteorologists predict the weather. And there are some meteorologists who study climate or actually the patterns of weather that occur within a long period of time. So remember that the difference between the climate and that of the weather is, is talking about the time. If weather can be predicted in a short period of time, the, pat the patterns of this weather that occurs uh, in a long period of time, that is the climate. So as it's like in this image, as you can see in the image, uh, a meteorologist is studying ice samples to learn about past climate. So, nag, nag, uh, ano siya, nag the dating process. So, studying past climate patterns gives scientists information about possible future changes in climate. Looking into the, the, the chemical components of the ice or in the ice gases or the ice samples. So, proceed tayo. Next is that we have the astronomy. So, uh, as siguro pag dating yun ng third year, this is actually one uh, form part of your major course, MC Science 5. Astronomy, wherein you will be dealing with the universe. We'll be dealing with the universe beyond the Earth. That is astronomy. So technologies such as rovers and space probes have also provided astronomers with new information about the universe. So ayan nakikita natin, an astronomer is linking telescope with a specialized instrument. Okay, so let's proceed with environmental science and earth science. So some earth scientists study uh, the ways in which humans interact with with their environment in a relatively new field, which is the environmental science. This is also one of a separate field, specialized field under earth science, uh, the geosphere, anthroposphere, the biosphere, in the atmosphere, and hydrosphere that is actually connected to earth science. One of the specialized um, field, di ba isang subject nyo pa din ito, yung environmental science. The goal of environmental science is to understand um, and solve problems that result Lamit from na. how we use natural resources and how our actions affect the environment. i sorry, class. Okay. So that's it. Um, talking about environmental science and earth science. So last slide na lang, this is a last slide na lang actually uh, on the importance of earth science. So why is it that earth science is deemed necessary for us to study? Because uh, uh, actually class, talking about for example, natural forces that really affect the life on earth, we really need to understand those things. Uh, that's the reason why uh, there are specialization that scientists had to focus on. For example, uh, climatologists, um, you have the meteorologists, the astronomers, basically for us to better understand how these natural forces shape our environment. Because uh, to predict, there are those that we can predict certain disasters because it's a siya sa naging basihan on how are the earth scientists picture out things made possible by this natural phenomenon. Isa dito, what might be the potential disasters and basically, in order to help, to help save lives and property. So the fuel that powers the jet, just like the metal used in surgical instruments and the paper and ink in, in, in our book, comes from the Earth's resources. And the study of Earth science can help people gain access to the Earth's resources. That's the reason why we have also a topic I have included yung the importance, issues, and challenges and significance of Earth's minerals kasi we really need to better understand. Kailangan natin maintindihan ang mineral resources, uh, particularly in the Philippines. Kailangan maging aware tayo doon. So that's the reason why Earth scientists also have to strive to help people use those resources wisely because, you know, uh, nauubos, nauubos din ang ating mga 
resources. Alright? So, that ends the last part of our discussion on, on the importance of Earth signs. You have any concern, class? Because I think I have come to my last slide talking about the importance of uh, Earth signs. So, for your activity, I have here part of your worksheet, activity number one. You're going to do this in a short band paper, siguro. Then you, you're going to submit in the Google Cl Classroom. I will be creating an assignment classwork, a coursework in our Google Classroom. Uh, this is uh, in connection or connected to what we have uh, discussed previously or a while ago. So you're going to name the four branches of earth science and how it contributes to contribute to the study of the development of earth science. And the second one is that you're going to describe the two specialized fields in biology, describe the work of oceanographers and meteorologists, and explain how the work of astronomers has been affected by technology. And with the following terms, I want you to create a concept map. Ito, itong, sapin, itong terms na to. You have earth science, geology, meteorology, climate, environmental science, astronomy, and oceanography. Question. So the deadline or the submission of this will be when, uh, when on Wednesday. So Wednesday nyo ang deadline nito. So kung wala nang tanong, pwede na nga no, pwede na mag, pwede na mag leave. Thank you so much. Thank you for your attendance today, class. Opo. Thank you. Thank you, sir.